how cool. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my way. Every single day. Hey, what's up, YouTube family? How's everybody doing today? So I'm back. All right, I'm back, y'all. So I've been thrifting. Y'all know I love doing thrifts. I like thrift. I like thrifting. I like going out, finding something old, and making it my something new. So, um, I got a few, just like a few things to show you. I guess it's technically one, two, three, four, four. I got some items to show you. Um, so first, I was gonna, gonna show you this. You know. The, um, I got this from Thrift Giant, which is not, look at that thing, look at that. Oh, I got this from Thrift Giant. It's a, it's a train toy of some sort. Um, it's by Play School. It was marked for $1.99, and she actually gave it to me for $0.99 cent because um, we couldn't tell because it didn't have any batteries in it, and also because... The part right here, I put batteries in it now, but the um, the cover for the battery was missing, so she just went ahead and gave it to me for uh, ninety nine cents. But I got this for Donovan, like he he seen it, he spotted it, he wanted it, and he got it. I mean, for ninety nine cents, why not? Um, and I was just like, well, even if it doesn't work, once I put batteries in it, it's still cool because he loves trains. He's like a train collector. Um, and then I guess it probably comes with more of these little balls, but, um, all you do is, let's see, is it on? It's off right now. And the batteries might be done ran out by now, but you turn it on. Yeah. Oh yeah. They didn't ran the batteries out, but basically you put the ball in there and then it just, it spins around and it goes through the feeder somehow. And then it just, it just repeats the cycle. So he got this. So today is what? Today is Thursday. I bought it on Sunday and got the batteries on Sunday. And I mean, I'm telling you, he, that thing been going all day for the last couple of days. So anyways, so make sure, you know what I'm saying? If your kids like toys or if you're looking in the market for new toys, but you don't want to break the bank, check out your resale shops. Good place to find some used toys, you know. Um, a lot of times you can ask them if you can uh, if they have some batteries or it might be a good idea to take different size batteries with you and you could try different things out to see if it'll work for you. Um, if you own a daycare or you have a home day run a home daycare, it's also a good place to look for toys, like I said, where you're not spending a whole lot of money. All you gotta do is get some sanitizer, clean them up, put the batteries in them, and good to go. Because you can find some really nice things there. And then uh, so I got that from Thrift Giant, and then I also got this from Thrift Giant. Y'all do not understand. So the whole reason I was in Thrift Giant, honestly, was not to look for a lamp, and it wasn't to look for any toys. I'm look in the market for a dresser. Now you guys remember my pink dresser that um I, it was like a funny looking green, and then I painted, I stripped it, painted it pink, and put glass knobs on it, right? Well, do y'all remember a couple of videos? Well, a lot of videos back where I like the, the dresser was falling apart. Um, I had glued it together. I had used Fix All from the Dollar Tree, which actually did work for, like it actually worked. Like it never fell apart. But when I had to move out of my apartment and um, go stay with my family member, um, there really technically wasn't enough room in the storage. And I didn't know how it would do in the heat. And so I just went ahead and chunked it. And I was just like, I'll just get something new. Now, looking back on it, I probably should have kept the dresser. Should, should try to make it fit into the storage. But whatever. So anyways, I'm in the market for a new dresser. And I have not been able to find one. And so that makes me even more like, like girl, you should have kept your dresser and got some, uh, and just like fixed it. You know what I'm saying? Got some more wood pieces and fixed it. But whatever. Um... Because I have at the good, I went to the Goodwill. I guess they don't sell furniture no more. If I'm wrong, then correct me. Um, and if I'm right, if you know the reason why they don't sell furniture anymore, leave me a comment in the comment section down below. But anyways, I went into, I've been going in and out of these different Goodwills, Thrift Giant, Metro Crest, different resale, resale shops looking for a dresser. I don't want a Chester drawer. I want a dresser, the like the low one, because my plan is to set my TV on top of it, like I did with my pink one. So, anyways. 
that's why I'm in and out the thrift stores a lot more here lately. But anyways, when I walked in there, it was like the gates of heaven had opened. It was like, oh, I seen this lamp. Y'all, y'all don't even know. Like, I don't, I don't, I can't even explain. I can't even express it. You know, my mom probably would know. Some people really close to me probably would know that I've always wanted a lamp like this. I've always wanted a glass lamp, a clear glass lamp. I, got, I just got through actually recording a Dollar Tree haul where I was showing you guys how I have picked up some glass of bowls from the Dollar Tree. And I was so excited. Like, it's something about clear, like, the clear glass that excites me. It's just like so like I don't know. Like like the glass knobs like I put on my um dresser when I buy my home, when I get my home, I don't care if it's brand new, I'm going to put glass knobs. I'm not sure if they're gonna be throughout my home, but they'll definitely be on my bedroom door, my master bedroom door. I just love that. Ugh. I even want like a cloth foot tub. I'm not sure what era that's considered, but you know what I'm saying? Like the era where people had glass door they had glass door knobs the glass um lamps and they had the cloth foot uh tubs i just love that this thing is so beautiful and chic but anyways i got me this i got two of them right so you can find modern day glass lamps at like marshall's tj maxx target you know just different places but some things like i seen one at hobby lobby that was like 129 dollars i seen them at ross like the cheapest one i think i've seen is maybe like 49 59 dollars Y'all, this thing, I got it. What's the price set? Where's the price set? There you go. Can y'all see that? I got it for $5.99. For $5.99, I got a lamp that my heart has been desiring for some time now. So I was really, really excited to see that. And I was kind of like, oh, I don't know. Like, what if it doesn't work? What if it doesn't work? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be spending like $12.00. For two lamps and it doesn't work, and I'm I'm not no electrician, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not in the market for buying something and well, not not a lamp anyway, and having to try to fix it. So, um, I asked the lady. I was like, you know, since we can't return anything, like, is there any way I can check, you know, try these out to make sure they work? You know, do you have a a light bulb or anything? And she, they actually had a light bulb, and I was able to plug it in, and they both work fine. So here's the first one, and here's the other one. They were just the same, though, but I'm going to show you anyway. So they, both of them, so they were both $5.99 a piece. Super exciting. I'm so happy, y'all. Like, and the thing is, sometimes, the thing is, sometimes you can go into the store looking for one thing and come out with something totally different. Um, and it's just so amazing how like sometimes you put things out in the universe and when you put it out there, you never know when it's going to come back to you, but nine times out of 10, it comes right back to you. So that's why I always say, be careful what you say and what you put out in the universe. Cause I've been wanting some of these for a long time and finally got them. So, and then I'm going to show you one more item that I actually got from a store here in Texas. It's uh, located over in like the Carrollton Dallas area and it's called Metro Crest. And um, I like Metro Crest. I like supporting Metro Crest because um, they do a lot for the community. But I had to have this thing. I've been wanting one for a long time. I used to have something similar to it back in the day, but it was way bigger and more bulkier. And I'm not sure what I did with it. I probably sold it at a garage sale. You know how it go. Like you think you over something, then you get rid of it. And you're like, why did I get rid of it? So I'm going to show you what I got. Look at that. It's a stereo system. So let me show you. It's two speakers. Don't drop it. Here's the base of it. All right. So at the top is a cassette player. And then your CDs go right here. And then um, I think you have to, yeah, I have, you have to open it like right here. So it has to be powered on. But the CD goes here, cassette tape up here. And then it comes with two speakers and a remote. Here's the remote, and then it comes with two speakers. So this is what the speakers look like. Now, I don't know nothing about this brand, T-E-A-C, but 
it worked because I asked the guy when I before I purchased it. I was like, is there any way I can plug this in? You have somewhere where I can plug this in to make sure it works before I buy it. And he said yes. Um, I got it for five dollars. It was marked for nine ninety nine, and it was a green tag, and green tags were half off. So I got it for five dollars. Super excited about that. Both of the speakers work great. I, I can only assume that the remote works. I'm not sure about that because I did not try it out because it didn't have batteries. But the system itself works. And I was super excited because, like I said, I used to have, like, um, back in the day, like, probably, like, 18 years ago, like, back in 2000, I had, like, a, a something similar to this, but it was, like, much bigger. It was, like, a five-disc CD changer with the two cassette tapes at the uh, – cassette tape uh, parts at the bottom. It had, you know, the remote everything. And I just used to love – to load up my thing with all my music and you know what I'm saying just listen to the music while I lay in the bed or you know what I'm saying while maybe I'm doing some more things you know what I'm saying listen to Carl Thomas and Joe and okay that's let me get off of that just got me going down memory lane but anyways so that's all I have for you today that's all the stuff that I got that I thrifted I hope you enjoyed this video um go ahead and leave me a comment telling me what's your best find at a thrift shop or a resale shop and um yeah, be sure to follow me on all my other social media outlets. I have um, all those in the description box down below. I'll also have a link to my family channel. So if you're not following me on my family channel, go ahead and head over there and subscribe. That's where we do all our vlogs. And then um, I'm also going to be joining up with my mom. And we're going to be doing a mommy daughter channel. It's going to be Colleen and V. So go ahead and check that out too. And if you want to see more videos like this, you already know what to do. Give this video a big thumbs up and share it. And like always, until next time, stay you, stay beautiful, and stay unique.